Okay. So listen, skin. Yes, it's very important to take care of your skin, and because it is the largest organ in our body, after all. People don't realize that, yeah. but in reality it is, and we have an expert with us this morning. We sure do. Joining us all the way from up the street just a little bit uh, is so, someone who we were just talking about. We're, we're so selfish. We're like, what should I use on my skin? Yeah, right. We're just asking uh, their Dr. age group. It's exactly. Good. Dr. Adebola Dele Michael. She is a board certified dermatologist. Thank you so much for joining us. Carrying some so great skin with her. Me. Thank think. you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here today. We, lo we love talking about wellness, health and wellness, but I, I complimented you on your skin. Thank you. And the fact is, you were in fact born like this. So how, before we get into what do we do for all different age groups, how much do your genetics factor into what your skin will or will not do? Genetics will take you about 65% of the way. Mm -hmm. And then lifestyle choices, whether you use your sunscreen, do you smoke? Do you sleep? Um, do you sleep? Do you <laughs> yeah, drink water? That. that will take you the rest of the way. So okay. it's genetics will do a lot, but you know you still have to take care of your skin. Okay, because yeah. I look at my 86-year-old mother and I'm like, oh, she has okay. beautiful skin. Okay, we're not, Amazing. we're we're all right. Stick we're all right. To the genetics. You better hope yeah. you got yes. those genes. <laughs> now we know sunscreen is very important. So yes. let's start with the little ones first. What do yeah. we need to know about? So for them? kids that are younger than six months, you don't want to use any sunscreen. So the recommendation okay. is to use sun protection, which is covering them, mm -hmm. using a shield, using an umbrella. Mm -hmm. Once it turns six months, you want to use a mineral-based sunscreen, which means that the active ingredient that you're looking for is zinc oxide. Okay. okay. So that's for the babies, for the for the babies. And that's until they actually start school. When they start school, they still need sunscreen as sure. well. But you want to use mineral-based sunscreen uh, for the and there isn't even from zero to six months, not even just a little bit of sunshine? No. Well, they can get sun exposure, but you just want to make sure that they are covered. Not up. direct. Yes, okay. yes. So, so they can go out in the stroller yes. with a little covering. Yes. Covering. Mm -hmm. covering, yes. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Uh, what about from six to six months to, you know, maybe teens? Yeah, so six months to teens, you know, you want to make sure that they are using really good moisturizers. So, for instance, if the baby has dry skin, you want to mm -hmm. use um, eczema products. Mm -hmm. You want to use things that have um, petroleum jelly, so that will be mm -hmm. things like Aquaphor, Aquaphor, you know, CeraVe has its own product too, so that will be great. A&D ointment is also really good too. That's right, we're looking at, one. when you get to this teens, teens, of course, skin is an issue in terms of acne mm -hmm. and pimples and things of that nature, so there's ways to fight that too. Yeah, so there's a lot of over-the-counter products that actually have acne fighting ingredients in them, mm -hmm. so you're looking for things like benzoyl peroxide, you're looking for salicylic acid, and recently, Adapalin, which is a retinoid, is actually over the counter now so you can use that for so all of those are over there. I'm, I'm in this battle right now with my 16 year old son yes. who has he does have great skin sure. but he's starting to break out here from his helmet oh, and yeah. I go to the you know the pharmacy and I'm like I'm looking at a sea of oh. stuff so is there if I had to choose one ingredient to focus on in this sea of skincare for a 16 year old boy what would be the first thing I would go to? I would do the benzoyl peroxide mm. cleansers because those are easy to use. Gonna guess it, yeah. yeah, when the acne is starting to get a little bit more cystic or more severe, then it's time to go see the board certified dermatologist. Then it's time to go see the doctor. Yes. And, and with some of those medications, you should avoid sun, sun is exposure. That correct? Yeah, yeah. Some, of those, some of those medications will make you sun sensitive. So you right. have to be careful. Right. It's still important to use your sunscreen when you're a teenager. I tell all my teens, mm -hmm. um, my patients, I tell them to use their sunscreen. It's really important to do that. And also when you 20s and 30s because yes in your 20s and 30s everything you did in your teens starts to it rear starts itself to catch up, yes so, so. What, so what should that age group do so age, that age group is when you're starting to incorporate things like retinols into your regimen you're starting to think about things like um, vitamin C mm -hmm. in your regimen but don't forget you still have to use sunscreen sunscreen is always yeah, important yeah. for for, for skin uh, health. Can we move forward into <clears throat> somebody else's range? The 40s. Here, the 40s. I'm 48. I'm almost on the 50s. Well, now what happens? How am I doing? So you're doing, doing great. This is you're 10 doing pounds great. of makeup. It's you have amazing makeup. skin. Well, you have amazing skin. skin. <laughs> so, you know, some of it is genetic. Some of it is just, you know, great lifestyle choices. So sunscreen is still important at this age. You start, you start adding hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic mm -hmm. acid actually draws water into the skin, traps it into the skin. Also over the counter. Over the counter, yes. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of great brands out there so you just pick which one you like. Um, eye creams are great at this age. Uh, you want to continue to use your retinols. Don't forget your vitamin C and your sunscreen. I was taught at a very young age to apply eye cream with your ring finger because it's your weakest finger. Is that a fallacy? Oh. A lot of people love doing that. Whatever floats Don't your boat. Don't cut my happy. Whatever Don't you cut love. My happy. If that's the way you do self-care, that's amazing. Keep right. it going. Let's invite her back. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and finally, <clears throat> 50s and beyond. Uh, then they look great. Right? You look, look amazing for 50. Thank and I say, time. keep doing your skin exams with your board certified mm -hmm. dermatologist. This is a time to make sure that you are not missing any skin cancers. Mm -hmm. Sunscreen is still very important at this age. And we want to use a lot of moisturizers because at this age, the hormones level, the hormone levels are starting to go down. Mm -hmm. So you want to add more moisturizers into your regimen to hyaluronic acid. Right. And then this is a point where you ask your dermatologist for a prescription of retinoids. See, so we want you can buy over the counter. You hate so your fifties, you, you, you gotta, you gotta, go, you gotta go to the doctor RX. and you know get the uh, right. Stuff. Is there an age where coming. you should? I hate to use the word should, but you know it's like you have your physical every year, right, from yes. the time you're a baby. Is this true for dermatology, or do you, or is it like, oh my gosh, I have a bout of X, Y, or Z, and now I'm running to the dermatologist? Or you know, should this be a part of our? You should always regimen. feel free to go to your lovely, friendly dermatologist. <laughs> um, but we you have know, one to recommend. Yeah. You know, and, and I know that most of my New York City patients, they don't hesitate to come at all. But you know, when you start noticing acne, that's when to go in. Right? Mm. You know, and then also depending on your risk factors, depending on your family history, you may want to start Go going in. Me. Yes, you know, in your teens. Yes. This is fantastic. Great thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Thanks for having me. It was a, it was a real pleasure. Thank